Mates. See, we've got one of the dominant males here, another dominant male here coming in, long tailed macaques. Now, when you stare at these monkeys in the eye, sometimes they see it as an insult, so it's best not to look in their eyes and smile and show your teeth because it's a sign of aggression. If I can get the big boy on side, then they might relax a little bit and I'll also feel a little bit more comfortable. So these guys are hanging out in the mangroves as a troop, big family group. And they've been known to dive from the mangroves, catch fish, they'll dig up these crab holes get crabs out of there. Today they're getting a special treat, a little bit of banana. Oh, he's a piggy, isn't he? You can see this little one's got his jowls full. They store the, store the banana in the jowls there. Much like pigeons do with seeds. Oh, you're getting jealous. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. It's okay. Relax, relax. Relax. Okay. He's a bit toey, isn't he? <laughs> more, 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 more. Are you saying more? I reckon you're saying more. Yeah. Good. Good. Hanging out with the rallies. Catch. Who are making that noise? So what we've got up in the trees here is a silvered langua and there's a troop of about 15, maybe 20 and 10 of them have moved off in that direction. A couple have stayed here and there's still a couple on this side of the jungle and we're waiting for them to cross over this canopy so we can try and get a better shot. And what they're actually doing is the far small portion of the troop is commuting communicating back to this guy here who's acting like a repeater and they're making all the monkey noises and sending it through the rainforest. So hopefully these other ones will cross over this canopy and we'll get to see a few more, but pretty exciting, hard to see, hard to find in the jungle, wild langulars. We've left the dry savanna, it's just way too hot out there even for Komodo dragons. We've come into an area like this where it's a bit more shady, 
Also a good place for maybe a Komodo ambush. Uh, macacus, macacus, the long-tailed macaque. I'm sure dragons will love to eat them if they can catch them. But these guys are really smart. They know what's going on. They can see snakes. They know when the dragons are coming. That's a warning call you just heard then. Oh, the dragon there. The monkeys in the background. You can hear that noise. Oh, they're out of there. You can see them just through here. Oh, unbelievable. Worldwide, macaque monkeys are the most widely distributed of all the primates, with around 22 species in the macaque family. Macaques are also highly intelligent and communicate well in family groups, using various vocal calls and body language, including pulling faces at each other. These monkeys will also take carefully calculated risks in order to gather food near predators. In 1948, a rhesus macaque was the first monkey to be shot into space. His name was Albert. Inevitably, he died a horrible death, and unfortunately, so did many of his space monkey cousins who followed after him. Uh, white-handed gibbons and the male is the black guy and his girlfriend the pretty white one who's calling out to you right about now they're very vocal and their vocals can be heard from up to two kilometers away uh, warning other other gibbons of their territory warning against predators calling out for a mate the little up one will start singing out shortly that's the male there. So you notice also their arms are actually a fair bit longer than their legs because they're swinging around in the trees all day. Valley fruits, leaves, occasionally insects as well. And they usually are uh, in small family groups, the mother and the father with just one offspring. And the offspring take about seven years to mature. And they can have another offspring within three to four years of having the, the first one. They're looking pretty happy up there today. Long tail macaques, obviously long tail by name, long tail by nature. There are more than five species of macaque found throughout Southeast Asia, and they are found in family groups of up to 70 individuals. That's a big troop, isn't it? They're really good swimmers. They've been known to dive into the water and catch crabs. They like to hang out in areas around large rivers. They will venture into town also. They're omnivorous. They eat insects as well as vegetation and fruits. The 
females have one baby after a gestation period of about six months. Monkey, 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 let's go and have a look, shall we? Okay, we've got some monkeys here. Look, they're long-tailed macaques. Unfortunately, the mum's missing her hand by the looks. You'll notice one thing with these monkeys, if you do stare them in the eyes, sometimes they see it as an insult. They can see the little baby and the mum. Whoop, whoop, here comes mum, there comes dad. <laughs> sometimes when they've got little ones, they get a bit cranky. You've got to watch out for that. <laughs> That's enough monkey business for one day. Gotta look out, they've got big canine teeth. Anyway, to the temple. Thanks for watching. Let's help protect, look after, and promote Mother Nature together. Don't forget to tune in next week so you can join us on our next adventure and see you next time.